everyone. Delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the Champions Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. Rich Beams, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elding. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What are your expectations of them today? Look, only a couple behind, so yeah, they are right into this at the moment. They've got to keep pressing on, not worry about what the players are doing around them, and keep their eye on the prize. Keep on that front foot and start making birdies. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Bit disappointing that one. And John, what's this one looking like? Yeah, they're in the sand and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Just a fantastic shot. Guaranteed birdie hitting it that close. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. And that makes him tied for first. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, a little off the target with that one. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. How close was that to going down? Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. That looks like a pure stroke. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. I'm down here on the third, taking a look at Cameron Champ. This would be a great up and down. That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. That'll help make a big move. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. We find ourselves on a par three here. to have chosen the seven iron this one looks like it'll safely make the green oh terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third how about this effort from jt just a little while ago this was his fourth shot Those always come in handy, completely unexpected, but welcome nonetheless. This one's for Birdie.
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this putt coming up for his par. And that putt will drop. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Good looking shot this. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. And it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. And it's worth taking another look at that one. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke, but can they maintain it? Let's find out. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. That got caught up in a few of the branches. Oh, absolutely flushed. That's some good golf right there. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. That is definitely a confidence builder. Leading by three strokes now. After a birdie at the last, we'll take the honour on the hole. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fibre. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, and check this shot out. It's dead sexy. Oh, lovely effort by Cameron Champ. That's a beauty. Seven feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Standing on this par four and leading... What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Well, that's a handy shot from about 100 yards. Going with the eight iron here. 
Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. This one has eyes for the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. Unbelievable shot. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Might well, it be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Okay, steady now. It's just about three feet away. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now at 11 under for the event. This hole is a long par four. came out of a cannon. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. That's a little wayward. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. <laughs> Opportunity to make their par. It's tracking. It was on a good line. Bogey putt coming up here. This one started out on a good line. Well, at least it wasn't a double. Currently in first position. to par three. Let's keep our laser focus. Opting for the five wood. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Uh, 
Yep, may have been a little off with that one. You think? Just a touch. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Ooh. And this one will be for bogey. Uh, just can't seem to get off the bogey train here, Rich. You're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Let's head over to the 11th. Sitting at one under the card. Going with the seven. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Oh, from downtown, he's hold it. And that will take him to three under. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by three strokes. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Yes, difficult light. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. This one might need to get down a little. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Now from that light, missing the green was always an option. Didn't that look good for a long time? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole. They need to take advantage. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Looks like they've got the five wood. This one might need to sit. And now we go to the 13th where this happened just a moment ago. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? This is how you do it, seven days a week. Wonderful effort. Getting ready to play their third. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by three. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Going with the six iron here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Oh, 
Bit of quality shot that. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, that's frustrating. This is a par putt. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by four strokes after that one. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Well, this should find the short grass. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. And he's safely on the green with that shot. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, we're on the 15th hole now, guys. This is Justin Thomas. And about 105 yards to the pin. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Get in. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This hole here is a par four. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. This shot is about 140 yards out.
Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. This putt is about 17 feet long. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Currently 12 under for the event. Here we have a par five. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Oh, well done. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? Sitting at minus three, currently tied for eighth place. You liked that, didn't you? Let's return to live play now. And here we are with the third shot. Four feet to the cup. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. should find the cut stuff. <laughs> Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not taking enough club to get it there. Getting ready to play their third. Great touch. Really nicely played. Judging it beautifully. Unfortunately not a birdie, but an easy par to finish. And through 36 holes, this player continues to shine out there in top spot. Luke, big lead to the opening 36, but no time to get complacent. There's still a lot of golf to play, and they need to continue to make birdies in order to finish ahead. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. <laughs>